Pastor, what is your say on this LGBTQ thing? Umeuliza swali raisi. Kuhusu watu wa jinsia moja kuoana. Kuna kitu kinaitwa the land of inheritance. The kingdom of God and the altar of God. Once you inherit the land God's altar is built there. And once God's altar is built there, the kingdom of God operates there. Wakati Mungu anawapa inchi muimiliki, munaijengea madhabau. Hiyo madhabau ni ya Mungu. Na mutakapo jenga madhabau, ufalme wa Mungu unakuja. Sasa mnakuwa wana wa ufalme. Sons and daughters of the kingdom. Now you are not when you mature you are no longer sons and daughters you are called princes and princesses. Sasa mnaridhi. Sasa hapo ndio inakuwa very technical. What is Kenya? What is the role of Kenya in the spiritual realm? Kenya ni nini? Na kazi ya Kenya ni nini? What is the position of Kenya in the African map? East and wise men came from the east. J in the world, what is the position or the location of Israel? East. The position of Kenya in Africa. East. So Israel inaweza kuchukiwa na watu wote, lakini Israel imependwa na Mungu na ni ya Mungu. Na Israel itafuata njia ya Mungu. Kenya is positioned in the east. Kenya ni ya Mungu. Na Kenya itafuata ya Mungu. Vitu vitachafuka kila mahali. Lakini east itabakia ile roho ya Mungu. West ikiharibika watakimbilia east. Kenya ibakie ya Yesu Kristo. Hiyo haimaanishi kwamba mashoga wa uwawe. No. It is a spiritual problem. Let us also tackle it spiritually. Ingelikuwa ni mtoto wako amekuwa shoga, ungetamani ya uwawe. Ungetamani apate msaada. Kwanza fikiria, huyu mtoto wa mtu ambaye ni shoga angelikuwa wangu, ningetafuta asaidike. Kwa hivyo Huyu mtoto awe kama wangu kwanza. Ndiyo ni mfanyie uamuzi. Hata tukiwaambia Kenya belongs to God, we don't allow this, but we won't kill you. Let us not stone them. Let us not judge them harshly. Let us give them spiritual treatment for spiritual healing because this thing is spiritual. Mtu alie na maumbi ile ya kiume akienda kuoa mwanaume mwenzake hiyo ni kimwili ama ni kiroho ni kiroho kwa hivyo let us not approach it physically and with harsh punishment chukulia huyo mtoto wa mtu kuwa wako first then approach the problem that is not a window to allow evil altars of homosexuality and lesbianism zijengwe Kenya but they are our children they are our daughters let us show them love not hatred and let us help them nasema hivyo kwa sababu wanakuja wengi new life na huwa unaona vile ambavyo nawaombea we don't hate them akiwa mtoto wako what would you do mtoto wangu akiwa shoga sikui shoga ili ni muin a a nitamuonyesha uzuri wa kukaa katika maumbile ya Mungu vile Mungu alivyokuumba then i tackle it spiritually sisi wachungaji in as much as we rebuke it let us pray about this issue because if we don't pray about this issue and take it to God's altar 
evil altars will penetrate kitambo usikie koti ya Kenya jaji wa Kenya anayejua maadili yote aseme tuwape ruhusa ujue it is spiritual hata huko kwa ikoti and when we babble and we talk and we cry but we don't take it to the altar it will still penetrate so let us tackle it spiritually and let us solve this problem my take on this let us show them love fast let us not hate them let us tackle it spiritually but never allow evil altars ziwe erected in the land which is in the east it belongs to god wao pia hawapendi kuwa mashoga sikudanganyi nimeketi na wao hawataki lakini kama kanisa alifukuzwa pasta anamuita shetani mshauri anamuogopa kwa jamii wanaitwa mashetani ataenda wapi wataifanya kisiri na watarekruit wengi hata mtoto wako hata mtoto wangu tutaenda wapi let us bring them to the altar and give them treatment mgonjwa wa ibola hatupwi mstuni analetwa hospitalini tunavaa barakoa tunavaa gloves tunavaa kila kitu ndio tuwatibu ili tusiambukizwe kwa hivyo watoto wetu hawa ndugu zetu hawa we must call them to god's hospital the church we must show them that we can treat them we must show them they are not devils we must show them they are not demons alafu tusaidie hapo they are our children they are our parents they are our brothers huo ndio msimamo wetu lakini usifungue mlango ukifungua mlango hata wewe inamaanisha umejenga hiyo madhibao kwa hiyo nchi hata wewe utajishtukia utaota hizo ndoto za ushoga utafanya nini don't hurt them mwingine ananiambia pastor i was very mad don't hurt them there is somewhere shetani anataka kupenya kwa watoto wetu tuwachukulie ni watoto wetu kwanza ni watoto wetu don't hurt them for you to help someone you don't need to hate that person love covers all then begin from there mimi nikuulize angelikuwa ni mke wako amekwambia bwanangu mimi nasikia kukaa kimwili na mwanamke mwenzangu hey 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 a a a a a a a na ikiwa ni wewe umejisikia kukaa na mwanaume mwenzako utafanya nini unajua kuna wachungaji ambao wako na hiyo roho huyo pasa utamsaidiaje let us think seriously this thing is spiritual it is attacking god's altar kenya is in the east israel is in the east hata kwingine kwote kukichafuka east ni lazima ibakie safi ndio kwingine kwote kuchafuka watakimbilia east wise men came from the east they did not come from madness and anger and abuse let us not abuse them no 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 naamini wa Kenya tutachukua barabara nyingine kuhusu hiki kitu ndugu yangu mimi singetamani tuwachukie mashoga this is a pure human being lakini amekuwa if affected not biologically but spiritual attack sababu hata marehemu ni mwanadamu hana feelings because the spirit is gone when the spirit has been attacked the body will be attacked when we solve the spirit problem the mind and the body will respond i think it is our duty wanadamu wengine wanaweza kupiga kelele sisi hatustahili kupiga kelele sisi tunastahili kuingia maombi then to advise people how can we win these people these sons and daughters wakati ambapo tunawachukia kanisa hafunguliwi nafasi aingie si ndio pastor akimwona anasema shetani ashindwe 
Huyu mtu anasema nateseka, natamani kuwa kama wanadamu wengine. Na yule mwenzake anamwambia I love you. A fellow man, a fellow woman. Kanisani he is not loved, she is not loved, she is not accepted. Ataenda wapi? Imagine jambazi anataka kuokoka na pasa anasema, "Ni jambazi huyo, muue kabisa." Ataokoka wapi? Na unajua roho ya ujambazi ni roho. Jambazi anaingiwa na roho ya ujambazi ndiye aitwe jambazi. So we must accept them fast in the church. Welcome them in the church. Preach to them, pray for their deliverance, then release them. But not to stop them from coming. Na shukuru Mungu wamejitokeza. Wamesema tuko Kenya. Wajua we have been living in Dinayo. Hakuna mashoka Kenya. Wako. <laughs> Sasa let us now help them. Huo ndio msimamo wangu. Okay, mwingine anasema Moses Ocheng. Naelewa lakini wasipewe uhuru aki Sodoma na Gomora maze. Okay, I don't know the kind of freedom you are talking about. Mimi ninaweza nikaketi na shoga hapa tukaongea ili nipate nafasi ya kumsaidia I don't know the kind of freedom you are talking about lakini akitaka kuja kanisani njoo new life nitakupa nafasi uketi hapo nikuhubirie Kristo akufungue you are not a devil you are not a demon mwana mpotevu asingeruhusiwa na babake kurudi huyo mtu angekufa nje hao watu hawakuzaliwa shoga roho iliwaingia why do we torment them why do we kill them why do we hate them i tell you the truth bro mimi niliingiwa na roho ya kupenda mwanamke nikapenda huyu na hiyo roho ikitoka nitachukia pa sasara shoga aliingiwa na roho ya kupenda mwanaume mwenzake akapenda huyo ikimtoka hata wai kana huyo mtu Mwingine aniuliza I think he uh, is talking about it being legalized in Kenya. Hiyo ndio kitu ambao nilikuwa nasema you don't defile the land. When the land belongs to the Lord you don't defile it. When you legalize this thing kwa koti za Kenya mumejenga madhibau ya ushoga kwa Kenya. Usipoiweka legal haimaanishi ume deny is right. Sikia kuna watu wamezaliwa Kenya na wana vitambulisho. Si wanaishi. Amezaliwa Kenya na hana birth certificate. Si wanaishi. Si ni mkenya. Lakini hajapewa cheti cha babu hajafuata legal procedures kupata cheti. Ikiwa Kenya sheria yake inasema ili upate cheti cha mzaliwa ni vyema uzaliwe fuata hiyo ukipeleka kotini mkaiweka ligo na waambia pesa itamwagwa Kenya ya kutengeneza usherati Kenya ya kutengeneza ushoga Kenya lakini hao hata wa mashoga hawataki ile kitu nachukia ni kuchukia huyo mtu na kumpiga mawe na kumtukana utamuumiza mwanadamu ambaye anaatia lakini don't take it to court hata ukimuuliza huyo jaji aliyefanya uh, huo uamuzi atajiuliza mtoto wake akiwashoga atafurai huyo jaji atafurai hawezi furai kama hawezi furai nini ilimfanya akai akai legalize ukimuuliza atakwambia mimi sijui hakukuwa na mtu akuipinga na utauliza kwa nini church haikupeana mtu kotini wa kuipinga church atasema siku hatukujua Iko kotini. Na hata kama hukujua iko kotini, yule aliyeenda ku defend mashoga kotini anapenda kuwa shoga? Hapendi. Kwa hivyo akilipwa pesa atawa defend iwekwe hapo. Let us approach it spiritual. Kenya belongs to God. Kenya is God's altar. Kenya God's kingdom is here with us. Let it, let it stay so, but let us protect them and 
be blessing to them.